This video shows how to set up port forwarding on the Arcadian version of the Tolstra Smart modem. To set up port forwarding, open a web browser and go to http colon forward slash forward slash my modem. Sign in using Tolstra capital T as the password. Before setting up port forwarding, you first will have to set a static IP address for the device. To do this, go to advanced go to local network go to devices here is a list of all the devices currently connected to the modem with their MAC address copy the MAC address of the device you wish to port forward to by highlighting it and pressing control C go to local network paste in the MAC address by pressing control V enter the name of the device enter the IP address of the device the IP address doesn't have to be the same as the existing IP address but it has to be within the IP address range of the modem select add and then select save Next, go to Firewall. If you want to set up the device in the DMZ, go down to DMZ and place a tick next to Enabled. Enter the IP address of the device and select Save. don't want to use DMZ because it's dangerous as all incoming traffic will be directed to the device so I'll remove that next go to port forwarding here you can either select from a list of services by selecting a type of service for example if you do enter a game select the game and then select the game the ports will automatically be entered for you all you need to do is enter the IP address if you want to enter a custom port forwarding rule which is what I want to do just select server give the service a name select the protocol unsure of this protocol select both I'll select TCP enter WAN port and then enter LAN port if there are several ports to port forward, separate them with a comma. If you have a range of ports to port forward, enter the first port and then the last port separated by a colon. I only want to enter one port so I'll delete the rest. Normally you should use the same WAN port as LAN port. If you have a device that's the same port as another device, you can change the WAN port. Enter the IP address of the device and select add then select save to test the port go to can you see me enter the port and do a check port is open it will show success and see your service if the port is closed when you do a check you get an error message if you get an error message first check that your IP shown here same as the IP4 address shown here in the gateway if the IP4 address is different it was probably due to double NAT double NAT can be caused by either carrier grade NAT or due to the fact that the Telstra modem is placed behind another modem or router the only solution to carrier grade NAT is to change ISPs. Double NAT due to the Telstra modem behind another modem or, or router can be fixed by either removing the primary modem router and connecting the Telstra modem directly to the internet source or by setting the Telstra modem in the DMZ of the primary modem or by bridging the primary modem. If the IP4 address is the same then the port is probably closed 
on the device. Check if the port is open on the device. Install the Thing app. The Thing app is available free in the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Once the app is installed, open the app. Go to Find Open Ports. Go to Settings and check that your port is one of the ports that is defined. If your the port you want to test is not among the defined ports, add it by tapping plus icon at the top right of the screen. Enter the port, give it a name, go back into the IP address of the device, tap on find open ports. If the port is open, it will display the port. If the port is closed and you do a test, no ports are displayed. If the port is closed, check the settings on your device. Most of the problems with port forwarding to a Windows device are due to the firewall blocking the ports. To check if the ports are open, go to Start and start typing Firewall. When Windows Defender Firewall app appears, select it. Go to Advanced Settings, select Inbound Rules. Tap on Local Port Header to sort rules in ascending port order. Check that your port has been allowed through the firewall. If the port is not allowed through the firewall, go to a new rule. Select port and then select next. Select the protocol and then enter the port. If you want to enter a number of ports, separate them with a colon. If you want to enter a range of ports, enter the first port and then enter a dash and then the last port. I only want to port forward 8085 so I'll delete the rest. Select Next, Select and Low, and Select Next. Make sure Domain and Private are selected, and Public is deselected. Select Next, give the rule a name, and then select Finish. Tap on Port Header to check that your port has been added to the Windows Firewall rules correctly. Hope you have benefited from this video.